there we go all right getting it working all right so it's not letting me join my server one of the mods is not working so we're just going to start a new solo run let's see here let's make sure we are in the right location yeah we got to choose the mods we gotta gotta enable it it's not there oh yeah the delta creek munitions that's a good one And there's Raven Creek. Okay, good. Raven Creek. Fantastic. Let's dive right in. Game. There we go. Thank you. All right. And we want to spawn in Raven Creek. The fun thing about Raven Creek is it's completely surrounded by um, impenetrable fences. So the only way to get out is to destroy one of those fences. So you've got to loot around in the city until you find a sledgehammer or you can craft some Molotov cocktails. Hmm. So we have to choose now. Um, What to start with? I'm thinking I want to start as a burglar. So we get that light footed, nimble and sneaking because we're doing a lot of uh, we're doing a lot of city um, attacking around here. And uh Let's pick obese so we get the 10 points. It does re reduce fitness, which is unfortunate, but we can take uh, cat eyes for better vision at night and dexterous. There we go. That should be good. All right. Now we need, I, I need, I need my beard. Give me my beard. Thank you. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> Usually I have to just spam the random button to get my beard, but let's go. These, these are the end times. There was no hope for survival. This, this is how you died. I love that this game starts by just saying, yeah, okay, by the way, so you're going to die. All right. That, that's not, that's not a question. No, you're just, you're going to die. That's fine. But this is how. And so this is the story of my death. Ooh, and there's a spawn point out just on the top of a roof somewhere. Ooh, see, instantly, instantly loving the ambiance of the map. You don't find a whole lot of these towers. The only other place you can find towers this high is all the way up in uh, Louisville. Louisville's got tall, huge towers like that. Very nice. Oh, yeah. And let's see, did I start with anything? I did not. I have nothing but clothes, which, I mean, that's that's a great start, but. Okay. First aid two, fishing. Ooh, woodcraft, episode one. Let's grab that. Oh, somebody's here. And magazines. Okay, no, I need a weapon. Because I could just stomp zombies to death, but I would prefer... Oh, I'm hearing stuff. Boldly open some doors and then close them. It's a no-go area inside Kentucky. Yeah, like the entire state is a no-go area at this point. <laughs> okay, good. Nothing here. Oh, this a tiny little kitchen. Oh, we got a water bottle. Perfect. And uh, let's eat an onion. I want to get my uh, I want to get my well-fed stat. Yes, Nick, let's go. Let's go. It's Project Zomboid time. Mm. Oh, a carving fork. Okay. And then we'll put a bread knife in my secondary and we'll grab the fork just in case we really absolutely need some stuff. Corned beef can be opened without a can opener. Wait, I saw a can opener over here, though. So we'll grab that. We are, uh, yeah, we've got plenty... Plenty of uh, inventory space before we get uh, before we get full and uh, start taking horrible, horrible Moodle debuffs. I say horrible just because I hate them. Painkillers will probably need that shortly. Good, good. Okay, some good looting. We got some basic weaponry. Uh, t-shirt. Another t-shirt. Some pants. Are these better? These are worse pants. 
And a short sleeve shirt. No, not, not feeling it. And a balcony. See, this is just a nice little touch on the map here. Because you would have these little apartment complexes with, with balconies. Oh, hey, Sam. Sam, good day. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the log pile. Mm, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that sort of nonsense. Thanks for, for reminding me. I will try not to remind everybody too much. Okay. Moving along. Plunger. Oh, a whole plunger. Mirror, cologne, foundation. We could use the foundation and get some clown makeup going, but it's a little bit early in the day for clown makeup. Ooh, a leather jacket. Yes. Yeah, styling it up. What? <laughs> I found a rifle. Okay, everybody, I found a rifle. I don't really want to be using the rifle. Just, uh like crazy but it's got 30 rounds in it yes oh nice okay let's uh insert the magazine good and uh oh yeah i need to need to put the bread knife and the carving fork oh uh, the regular fork yeah okay on my hot bar because we're going for it we're going for stealth we don't want all of the zombies in the entire city to just de descend upon me Well, I mean, all, all at once, until I find a lot more ammo, because I've only got, what, 35, 35 rounds. In a big city like this, we're going to go through that like nothing. More corned beef. I like the corned beef, because you, you can open it without a can opener. So if I need to drop something, I can drop the uh, drop the can opener in the cans. And always, you know, I can always come back for them. And while we're here with this fresh broccoli... Mmm, a broccoli and cheese casserole. I could actually make a casserole, and that would be better, but that would take time. Don't need to. Ice cream. Mmm, grab some ice cream. That will actually make me happy later. Okay, and we're doing fine on... I'm hearing stuff. We got zombies, everyone. Make them as a shock, but zombies. Confirmed for zombies. Oh, oh, a bandage. We can't always just rip clothes to make bandages, but an actual bandage is better. Denim shirt. Regular pants. Yeah, let's wear the denim shirt. Oh, actually, I wonder, does this have a VHS player? It does. Let's just sit down and watch this woodcraft. Lay it. That way we don't have to keep carrying it around. One stop for home improvement. Now, for for whatever reason, um, it's not letting me today. It's not letting me log into my multiplayer server, and I I think that's just because I got to delete all of my mods off of this off of this computer. I've been messing around with them. Uh, but I do have I do have a multiplayer server set up for uh, Project Zomboid here, and uh, planning on did we do we do we get the whole thing? Planning on uh, actually doing some okay. There, there's carpentry. Uh, planning on doing a a tournament actually in uh, in the not too distant future. A nice Project Zomboid tournament tournament with actual prizes. That I uh, that I give away to the uh, to the winners. That's why I have the uh, the mod for uh, for rankings to see who has the most kills at the end of a week. Bohaha! I think it'll be fun. We'll just run the whole server for a week, let people come in as they can, see who gets the most gets the most points, give out some prizes, eat some jerky. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't eat the jerky. I did eat some of the jerky, though. I should open the carrots. And I'm going to open the canned corn while we're here. And then I can just eat this on the go. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Uh, and so that's why I'm testing out a bunch of maps here. Because I'm going to have a whole bunch of mod maps so that it's, uh, so that it's a bit more even-handed for people that 
people that know the vanilla maps really, really well, um, they'll get stuck in this map and then won't instantly know how to, uh, how to just dominate the entire... Eat the lime. Uh, dominate the entire field. And drink the juice box. Well fed. Okay, I want to get stuffed. I want to get just completely full. Okay, sheet of paper, pencil, magazine... Antidepressants. I probably want. Oh, a sewing kit. Yes. I'm just. I'm just barging in here, and at some point, that's going to come back to haunt me. At some point, I'm going to barge in somewhere, fully expecting there not to be zombies, and I will be disproven. Okay, are we done? Are we done with the, the video? I thought we were done with the video, but apparently not. I'm watching TV through the wall. Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> Tomorrow we're taking off the training wheels. Good, good. Let's finish that. It'll be great. Door frames, here we come. <laughs> uh, carving fork needs to go in my primary. Oh. No, is carving fork not a weapon? Oh, I need to do a guide about that. I thought a carving fork was a, a weapon. It's not. I should do a guide about all of the kitchen cutlery. Okay. We're just going to kind of bust through. Yeah, that would have been very unfortunate. Okay, if, uh, 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 leak, fresh, eat. Wow, I'm going through all of the food. Kitchen tongue, spatula, another fork. Canned fruits and stuff, mac and cheese. Okay. I mean, we're not going to run out of food anytime soon, but I don't want it to be a problem. Crossword magazine, first aid. The nice thing about not being on the multiplayer server is if I want to read a book, I can start reading a book and just fast forward time until I'm done with the book. So that's nice. Ooh, razor. Yeah, good. I want to grab razor. Because I don't like this, this thing I got going on here. The mohawk short. Now, shave it. There we go. Look at this handsome man. Yes. Okay, good. Empty tin can. Don't need that. Where did my razor go? Oh, I'm wearing it. There we go. Check it. Bandages, bath towels. I am actually a little wet. It's this, uh... Baggy jeans. Oh, yeah. No, it's this leather coat. Leather coat. It's It's got the drip, all right. The drip is sweat. <laughs> Uh, another fork. Good. I'm just going to have a whole silverware set going on. Oh, a griddle pan. That's actually really good. Both of these are really good. Okay, so let's equip primary and we'll equip, equip this secondary. And then we've got some cutlery as backup until I can find a decent weapon. Mmm, drink the orange soda. Yeah, just take a take a quick sip. Y'all call it, y'all call it soda? Or do you call it, do you call it pop? I always grew up calling it pop. So it feels weird to call it soda. Like, like it's an extra unnecessary syllable in there. I'm just, I'm just, right, right now we're just playing the, uh, mild thievery game. Can I eat a lemon? No, I can't eat the lemon. Just going through people's houses and stealing. And there just happens to not be anybody here. Wait, I'm hearing stuff. Okay, 
Okay, regular jacket, empty notebook. Okay, we are close to the close to the floor here, so I you know, if I hadn't found if I hadn't found that uh rifle, I would just abandon this whole area, but I'm thinking there might be a rifle running around. <laughs> and I don't want to miss it. There's a banane. Ooh, ooh, and there's a Lane's commercial. Yes. Okay, we're definitely going to read this one. Being able to take care of vehicles is super good. Okay, good, good. Do y'all have a bath towel in here? Nope. Hairspray? If I had hair, I could do the mohawk style. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to select it here. Toy bear. <laughs> no. Oh, a sweater. I'm already... I'm already drippy enough. Ooh. Some jerky. Nice, light, wholesome meal. Let's let's actually uh, get some water. Before, uh, before we hit the bottom floor, I think... I think we are going to find, once we hit the bottom floor, that that's where all of the zombies spawned. So let's drink a juice box, eat some strawberries and mayonnaise, and prepare for the bottom floor. We may have to hoof it. W yeah, where are we on the map, actually? Okay, so we're all the way up here. And uh, this, this mod actually just, like, fills in this entire bottom corner of the thing so it's it's a huge map it's amazing eat the lemon and then let's see here do you have ice cream eat the ice cream there we go i love how it's crunchy ice cream and nobody questions it uh-oh Oh, we got an alarm going off. That's going to be bad. We got to get. Stop alarm. Am I carrying it now? And of course, as always, I haven't yet found a bag. I, oh, I suppose I could actually just grab a garbage bag. Equip a secondary. Yeah, okay, that'll work. We'll put some just some stuff in it. Stuff that I might not need. There we go. Okay, good. Now, on to the first floor. Oh, yeah. It's going to be exciting. Like I said. Oh, nope. No, oh, get out. Run. Ah. Good. Okay, didn't get me. Nope. Nope, we're out. Okay. Very exciting. You can see I'm I'm in extreme panic. <laughs> okay. And there we go. See, this is this is why you got to plan as soon as you leave your as soon as you leave your house. It's going to get hectic in the zombie apocalypse. A driving school. This is cool. There's a whole driving school. I am a little bit panicked. A little bit extremely panicked. And uh and heavy here. Let's eat. Let's eat some jerky. Oh, there's a house alarm going off. Why am I suddenly carrying too much? Oh, I can't eat again. Oh, and I can't get out of this area. Uh, I guess this uh, garbage bag is not doing terribly great as a container. That's all right. This is fine. Nothing wrong here. <laughs> I'm still extremely panicked. I really don't want to get into a fight 
while extremely panicked. That that Moodle is going to be really bad. Come on, everyone. Give me some space. Let me settle down. I should have had some. I should have grabbed those beta blockers. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to get some space between us and them. Yeah, yeah. Unpleasantly hot. I, I shaved my head. I should be fine. Ooh, I wonder if one of these cars has the key in them. Okay, I may have enough time. Let's see if we can boot up a car. Um, nope. Annotated map, though, would be cool. What about this one? Let me in. Uh, nope. Now we're out. No, no key. Don't got a key. It's a nice cemetery. Okay, we're we're just we're just wet. We're no longer moist or anything. We're just we're just wet. Oh, and these guys, these guys have heard. Oh, this is Wayne. Wayne, my buddy. Okay, we got an NPC. Let's go see if we can save him. Never mind, he's doomed. Quick, into the church. Never mind, the church is closed. Not a Sunday. Okay, yeah, no, that's on my back. Good, good. I was worried there for a second that it had gotten off of my back. Come on. Open up. Thank you. And close it. Oh, no. They spotted me. Oh, they know where I'm at. Anybody in here? Well, these are a death trap. Ooh, water. <laughs> okay. And we'll drink adhesive tape. Okay, good, good. Oh, they just broke in. Okay, nothing really to loot. Is it safe outside? It is not safe outside. Okay. Go back to sneaking. <sighs> okay, I've lost them. Let's see if I can keep them lost. Wayne. Oh, Wayne, buddy. Wait, I'm a burglar. I'm a burglar. I can go and hotwire one of those vehicles. That's why I picked burglar. Yeah, let's go get a car and see if it has gas in it. Now that we've shaken off of our shaken off our tail, they might see me, but that's okay. These fences they can't climb over, I hope. Okay. V hot wire the engine. No gas. I'm just going to dispatch these. Come here, yo. Come here. Fun little tip. While you're standing on them, they don't aggro. They don't get up. They won't do anything. They'll just sit there. Okay, and they don't have anything. Boo! 
All right, so hotwire the engine. Hotwire of the engine. There we go. Nope, no gas. Well, we've got two cars we could uh, possibly, conceivably get going. Oh, 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 and you're just totally locked, aren't you? Nope, totally locked. Got to smash a window. Let's go to the other side. See if there's a key. Nope. Hot wire it. Let's see here. We got matches. Twine is nice. Unlock everything, please. A screwdriver? Do I have a screwdriver? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so I need some gas. And then we got three vehicles that we can play around with. Tote bag? Oh, tote bag's nice. Uh, let's see, your capac capacity's 12, weight reduction 50. Oh, that actually is probably going to be better. No, oh, no, grab it. Grab it. <laughs> we'll have our have a nice little shopping trip, shall we? And we'll just nest them together. Good. Now we're not uh Oh crud. That is garbage. Alright, we're gonna have to equip this primary and do the old shuffle. Into the tote bag we go. Rolling pin. Come on, you can do it, rolling pin. Okay. Now we should be ready to go. Once more. Garbage bag can go in here. Those are really handy uh, for setting up bases. If you got uh, four garbage bags and was it four, four planks and a bunch of nails, you can make a rain catcher. No, no, not the vehicle mechanics. I know it's all busted up. And we're getting a bit drowsy. We are going to have to find a nice place to kick back and relax, take a nap. And I, I haven't even found a, I haven't even found a watch yet. I got to kill a bunch of zombies to find a watch. No, no, come on. Hold on, just a second. Bloop. Nope. Nothing. An empty gas can would be great. <laughs> Called it. All right, cool. We got an empty gas can. Uh, no, what what I really need is a backpack. And it looks like I could probably find it in some of these gated communities. What are the chances I can draw away these guys one at a time to dispatch them? Looking pretty good. Hey, buddy. Do you have no nothing i need a, i need a watch could one of y'all if, if you one of all have a watch come here one you look like you have a watch sir good no watch. Watch! Oh! Run for it! <laughs> did I get the watch? Good, I did get the watch. Where on the left wrist? Good, 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 good. Now we know what time it is. And yeah, I am gonna need to find a... Find a place to relax. Haha, <laughs> got him. And come on. There we go. Classic watch, briefs, sneakers. 
I do have a mod that allows me to repair sneakers, so if I find a really good set of boots. I can go with it. But but still, look at all of these. Look at all of these. Uh, oh, oh, look at them all of those. Ooh, because there's a spiffo. That's why. Oh. There, there it is. Found it. Found the zombies. Found where they were. They were over here the whole time. Oh, yeah. Nope. 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 Not what I'm looking for. All right. I'm going to head back to where we started from. Find us a nice little quiet place. Okay, come on. Hmm. And then we'll uh then we'll take a nap and get started in the new day. But I gotta take care of these guys before I go into the building. Starting to get hairy. And not Potter. Get the conga line of doom going. Come here. Oh, I'm starting to get exhausted. That's not great. One down. Come on. Finish him off. There we go. Okay. Now, quick hide. Do you have anything that I want? Nope. Okay, good. Oh, crud. We've attracted some more attention. Well, maybe I can lose them in the building. I just need to... Oh, this is not losing them in the building. This is trapping myself into the building with them. That's not what I want. <laughs> okay. We'll go upstairs. Nope. 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 We may have to deal with them up here. But if I can just get to a bed and fall asleep... No, he's just, he's just tracking. Just tracking entirely. We are going to have to deal with them. Oh, good. Come on. I know I'm exhausted, but thank you. Ooh, a polo sweater. Okay, we've previously cleared this area out mostly. So it's just the people that we've brought in here that are going to be a problem. Come on. Seriously? More of you? Oh, 
I am so tired. I just want to sleep. Now, hopefully, we can get some sleep, grab some food. Or maybe we'll grab some food and then get some sleep. Sausage uncooked. There we go. Ice cream. The perfect food to survive in the apocalypse. Because it's just going to, it's just going to go bad. Get all melty and nasty. So you might as well eat it. All right, let's take a nap. See you in the morning. Okay. We're all better. We're going to grab some more food. Oh, hey, thanks for the sub. Do my yowist. Welcome to the log pile. We're going to grab some more food. Not dog food. Oh, a dish towel. Yeah, yeah. Tasty. Um, corn? Uh, boredom and unhappiness will go. I could do some cooking. I'm just going to eat some of the food I've got with me. Ooh, yeah, we'll open some canned pineapple. Oh, somebody found me. I was about to get eated while sleeping. Let's go do it. Just gotta juggle them. There we go. And I should be actually level. Oh, a house key. Lovely. I should actually be leveling up my uh, short blunt pretty soon. All right. Let's get back to exploring. This area is pretty clear. Let's see, we went down this way a little bit ago. If we can find a gas station, we can get ourselves a car. And the car will help us stay alive until it kills us. And that'll be great. Because that's just what happens in this game. It either helps you stay alive, or it's the thing that kills you. Finally. Okay, speaking of things that want to kill us. Come here. No, no, just die quickly, please. I've got more contestants coming. That would also like a piece of me. And I would prefer not to give it to them. Okay, good. Stay down, you two. There we go. Red watch. And uh, I could put on a round neck sweater, but I'm honestly, I'm honestly overheating in my jacket here. So let's not. A tire pump, another, another empty gas can. Oh, and some toilet paper. Somebody was prepping. Oh, it looks like this one has... Gas! No! Oh, that's a problem. Quick, take all the fuel. Okay, good, good. We now have fuel. A little bit of fuel, but it should be enough to get going. Let me do a quick little swappy swap. Gas can goes back in the tote bag. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a we got a entourage now. Oh, and a car station. Okay, I want to lead them away from the car station because I want to go loot the car station. So if I lose them over here, come on, actually put it on. Thank you.
Oh, 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 I lost them, but then, but then they're still there. Okay, because the car that's uh, on fire is over this way. Well, it's not on fire, but might as well be for all the attention it's getting. Okay, I do have a couple of hangers on. <coughs> it's like they know where I am. Oh, my. Those car alarms are nasty. Okay, we'll sneak around the back. Oh, look at all the sheets on this building. Ooh. Ooh, that means there's probably really good loot in there. Because there were survivors at some point. Oh, run! Whoa, and a good-looking truck. I want to loot the truck. But I have to get in and then hotwire it, most likely. And this is all sealed off. Oh, yes, the far... Car, car fixation is locked. Oh, hi. Oh, you've got a beret. I want your beret. No beret. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> the drip. The drip continues. And I'm not just talking about the rain. No, no, no. Come on. I really do need to level up. Ooh, sir. Do you have weapons on you? Yeah, yeah. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This would make a great map for a tournament. Which is why I'm planning on hosting one with actual prizes. Cause I mean, I mean, look, it's just, it's just go, go, go from the start. Extreme panic the entire time. Okay. Maybe we've lost them. Yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Nick. We'll see you later. Oh, a kitchen knife. Salmon, mixed vegetables. Eh. I could microwave the mixed vegetables. Oh, good. Good. We'll drink this. We'll drink the soda. And then drop this here. Not seeing anything in here. Okay. Um... These car locations are really good because they usually involve a lot of tools. Spare engine parts are also really good. Moldraw map. Regular tire. I mean, if I had a car and I needed to, if I needed to fix it up, this would be definitely be the place to go to get all the stuff I need. Ooh, coveralls, ear protectors. <laughs> Come on, come on. Where's my, uh, where's my hammers? I, I'm still missing a hammer. <gasps> there it is. Open. Fine. We'll equip it in the secondary. Pull the hammer out. And then we can get rid of it. Yeah, I definitely need to get a backpack. Performance tire, muffler. Yeah, the people are beating on that door, and eventually they're going to take it down. And I will have to leave. Oh, a propane torch. Wrench. Wrench is good. Is the wrench damage better than my griddle pan? It is much better. And my griddle pan is almost dead anyway, so. Okay, good. So we've got a wrench. We've got ourselves a hammer. So, I mean, if, if worse comes to worse, um, I should grab some food before I scoot. Eat the ice cream. Okay. It looks like 
I've shaken them off. Yeah, yeah. Did they follow me up this way, though? They didn't. Good, good. Uh, let's see. There was a truck over here that I wanted to loot before everything exploded. Oh, we've got our first contestant with the wrench. Oh, that tire pump. Oh, and here's the mechanic. Come on. Now, where did my wrench go? I would solve that mystery right now, but I'm busy. Oh, too many people. All right. Wrench, wrench, wrench. Tire pump. Garbage. Where, where did the wrench go? No. Well, boo. Okay, now they've lost sight of me. I need to make sure they keep losing sight of me and also don't pick up my audio trail. Oh, let's drop the forks. Those have diddly squat. Ah, no. Here. Die. Okay. Wrench was over here. Give me the wrench. There we go. Sheesh. Okay, now where's that truck? Uh, the truck was over here somewhere. Was it down this way? It is. Oh, that would have been bad. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need peace and quiet in my life. Now that I've got a wrench. Oh, <laughs> bonk. Nice. Oh, that got him. Oh, I got both of them. Nice. And a locket. Ooh, the old two-stroke. Very nice. Okay. Scan the area, make sure it's clear, and let's see if we can grab this truck. Tomato seeds could get a bit of farming going. Some duct tape in the bed. Ah, uh, it's locked. I have to shatter the window. I hate doing that. Yep. Okay. They're both locked, and it's got gas in it already. Nope. Nope. She doesn't care. Good. Good. Switch seats. Unlock. We don't have the key, do we? We do not. Can we hotwire it quickly? Come here. Come on. There we go. Ooh, a leather jacket. Some nice shoes. Wait, how's my jacket doing? I know I got hit. But was it a bite or was it a scratch? Inspect. It's got a hole in the upper torso. Yeah. All right, well, let's hop in here quick. Oh, no. Lead them away! Lead them away! Oh, hey, thanks for the sub. I would look at your name and give you a shout-out. However, I'm busy. I'm up to my spleen in Zeds. There we go. Earbuds? Oh, hey. <laughs> they're, they're from the, uh, the Dead Island 2 trailer. <laughs>
Oh, well, it's a good thing I didn't try it, your name, Rodrigo. Ooh. Oh, almost completely full tank, too. Oh, very nice. Okay, so that means we can actually set some stuff down. Let's see here. Duct tape goes in the side. Gas can goes over here. Rolling pin we don't need to be carrying around. Sewing kit, probably not. Can opener we can leave. Canned potato. Great. Oh, this is good. This is fantastic. And actually, we're going to take this uh, leather jacket off. And we're going to replace it with this leather jacket. So usually I run around and I find an axe or hand axe. Hand axes are my favorite. I love them so much. However, however, they do tend to destroy any clothing on zombies that you attack. All right, now we've got a car. We can actually do some exploring. Some, some, some quick paced exploring. So let's see here. Um, we are kind of at the top range of this mod. So let's actually find the top and then we're kind of go around in a big circle. And we'll just, uh, we'll just go on the grand tour. This is the, uh, the car fixation. So if I need to fix this bad boy up, I know where to go. Here's a horde of zombies. A little small pocket of zombies. I think they call that a nibble. A nibble of Zed. Oh, there's a bunch of grills in the back. See, this would just this would just be an awesome map to set up a base in. Uh, the, the the makers of the map say, oh no, you don't want to set up a base here. It's it's for raiding. You come in, you do quick raids, and then you leave. No, but if you set up a base, depending on your server settings. You and uh, you and several friends can just have the run of the town and be absolutely fine. Oh yeah, look at all of these taxis. A nice uh, apartment complex over here. Oh, a market we could find food in. I don't want to go over there. Map says uh, map says it's kind of a dead end. Let's stick to the main roads for right now, if we can. Yeah, this looks a little bit, a little bit congested. Because if you're not familiar with Project Zomboid, if I were to crash this car, not only would the car take damage, I would take damage too. I might even break a bone. And those, those take forever to heal, and you're usually dead before that, unless you've got a bunch of churns are us, adorable. Oh, oh, and there's another. Another alarm going off. Sorry, buddy, but you're where I want to go. I'm trying to get to the top here, and it's slow going. I mean, just look at all of the great places. The great places to loot. This whole big apartment area. And all of these all of these wrecks you can actually salvage and get uh, metal out of to make new stuff. I love this, this top two floor walking bridge. So good. You, what, why Why was that a shock? Oh no, zombie, ah. Bonk. And these, these tall buildings, I love it. Is this the, the northern part of the map? I mean, this is huge. We've been going for a while, and we still haven't reached the mod. Usually when I, uh, when I do a mod map, we're doing it all on, uh, all on foot. Because if I do it on a car, it's just not going to... Oh. If I do it in a car, we'll, we'll have explored the entire map in a couple of minutes. But this one, I'm doing it on car, and it's taking forever. I love it. So good. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. I'm feeling this way. Now, of course, all of this car revving engine stuff. Hey, buddy, get in the car.
Hey, language. This is a wholesome stream. Get in the car, buddy. Mar Ma Marie, get in the car. This is not great for my, uh, for my structural, my tires, nothing. I just want you to know that I'm sacrificing my great truck here to clear an area for you to get in the car. M Marie, get in the car. Boo. Oh, this is a cute little, look, they found a little spot. Storyplex, pause the movie. Lovely. Oh man. Okay. Well, forget the NPCs. Forget the NPCs. We may uh, we may come back around and see if they're still alive at some point. But if they're not going to get in the car, and I don't actually know survivor options, rules of engagement, call to arms. Yeah. I don't have I don't have time to do the menu options needed to get them to be friends. All right. We've uh, we've come to a top here. Ooh, this guy's got a hat, a helmet. <laughs> Lickery split. Okay, we can find a bunch of Molotov cocktail fixings in there. Seat yourself, furniture. Lovely. Now, dentistry. Oh, we could probably find a bunch of uh, bunch of good stuff in there. Um, bargain clothes. Ha ha. Yeah, so it looks like this is the, this is kind of the top of this map. Crossroads Mall. Ooh. I want to loot it. I'm going to loot it. I'm going to loot it. Even though it's raining, it's getting late. I'm going in. I'm going to find the bed department. Take a nap in there somewhere. Take care of this guy. Hey, buddy. Go to the, the hardware department and find some of my axes. Maybe find a backpack. Yo, your hair. It looks like a helmet. Not nearly as cool as my bald with beret. Mmm, delicious. Oh, a hoodie. Mmm, scratch the fence is good, but I also don't want it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Never mind, we'll go this way. All yours. Enjoy. I'm coming back for my truck, though. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, if we can defeat this guy real quick. We can clear out this window. Remove broken glass. Good, important to make sure you've got something in your primary slot before you try <laughs> getting rid of the glass. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Okay. We are in, and it's mostly quiet. Lamps. Not helpful. Hmm. More lamps? This must be the electronics department. Yep, engineering. Yeah, that's the electronics department. All right, let's go over here. Ooh. Ooh, these are going to be good. Oh, I might be able to find a map in here of the entire city. Lanes. We might want. We might want. We're, we're just going to grab that. Have I read that one? Already read. Okay, so it's the green one I've read. Hmm, <gasps> here we go. Mm, do, 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 river, map of Riverside, Muldraw. Hmm. No, I need a map of Raven Creek. Raven Creek. No. Of course, it's not going to give me the map that I need. 
That would be too easy. Ooh, a guitar case. <laughs> I could actually pick up the guitar and use it as a weapon. That's always a fun move. Anything in here? Money. No. Nah. Mostly useless. And by mostly, I mean in this game completely. Let's grab a quick snack if we've got one. <laughs> oh, a whole cabbage. Cool. I actually had cabbage for lunch. I did not, however, eat an entire cabbage. All right, let's read this one. I've got a, a mod here that gives me tons of extra maps. Yeah, so that's right there. Tons of extra maps that you can find. And it includes maps for many of the mods. And I think Raven Creek is in there. Oh, this is open. Let's close that. Oh, and this is open. Oh, let's close that. But first, mm, however, first. Twine. Oh, yellow, yellow paint. I do have a mod in here that allows me to uh, have a lot more symbols when I paint stuff. But that's only really going to be super handy. If I'm if I'm doing it on the the multiplayer server, and this isn't the multiplayer server. Ooh, the house key. Yes, there's a, a small chance every time you kill a zombie inside a building to get a house key for that building. <gasps> and the ball bean hammer. Uh, the, the I just did a I just did a guide for hammers actually, and the ball bean hammer and the regular hammer have the same damage rating. But the regular hammer has a slightly longer hitbox. So you are always going to be better having just a regular hammer as a hammer. But this wrench is going to be going to beat both of those hammers out of the water. Just because of its damage. Not necessarily because it's range, but. Another wrench. Do I have a saw? Do I have a saw? As far as I don't, as far as I know, I don't have a saw. Let's grab another wrench. Metal pipe. Okay, and then uh, let's see here. We need. We need to drink. Apparently, um, we need to find a backpack. A better weapon would be grand. And then we're gonna need to find. Some place to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another house key. I'll just, I'll just take copies. Okay, so we've looted most of this down here. Let's head upstairs. Yes, yes. Oh, we've got food and a far, pharma hug. <laughs> Love it, though. <gasps> Granola bar? Yes. Okay, we're going to have a little snack. <gasps> Time for sport, though. They probably got hiking bags. And if they got them, I want them. A baseball bat? Um, I've been leveling up short blunt, though. Yeah, short blunt. Baseball bats are great. They've got lots of range and lots of damage. <gasps> Riding helmet or a hockey helmet. Let's go riding helmet. Not as drippy, but the stats are way better. More baseball bats. Good, good. Some clothing. Shirts. Where are the backpacks? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for some backpacks. All you happen to have are badminton racks, helmets, <laughs> oh, they just, they just that's all they sell is uh, baseball bats and helmets. Ice hockey sticks, tennis ball, come on. More baseball bats. Well, they got to refill them when people buy them, I guess. Sunglasses, ooh. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there for a while, the beanie hat was actually a bit overpowered because uh, people who were trying to play for uh, for long term survivability would uh, would grab those and they would like give you immunity to the cold. If you had a beanie cap on, you were pretty much just immune to the cold. We'll, we'll save the beret. Let's eat this. Oh, oh, there is a clothing store up here. Cool. All right, we've read that, so we don't need it anymore. These all can just go in the bag. Oh, a customer. Hello. Or should I say our customers? Oh yeah, and that's the other reason that I can't use a a baseball bat. I wouldn't have a place to store all my stuff if I did. Thunk. Yes, because I'd have to hold the baseball bat in both hands in order for it to be effective at all. Hey, guys. Probably could have aggroed one of those at a time, but I can handle both. Come on. There we go. Another house key. <laughs> I only need one, but I like to collect them all. What are you wearing? A police shirt. Oh, very nice. <laughs> okay, backpack. Back. Pack. Wh why am I getting the... Uh, why am I getting that soundtrack? I was not in danger at any point. Game. And you know it. Don't lie to the people watching. Nothing. Okay, good. Clear. <laughs> some cleaning liquid, uh, several tote bags. Oh, some bleach. Just in case I need to end it all. Come on, where are the backpacks? Hoodie. Even a fanny pack would be great. Again, not for the drip, but for the storage. <gasps> there we go. You, your satchel. I want it. Hard hat, good. But I already have a better hard hat. Let's equip this on the back. Yeah, now I can go to that uh, baseball bat if I wanted to. Come on, I'm getting tired again. And y'all are not helping. All right, so now I can just take all of this stuff, dump it into my satchel. Ooh, ooh, fresh pie. Fresh pie. Okay, so tote bag is a 1250. Oh, the weight reduction is less. Boo. Well, that's unfortunate. We do need a backpack then. Let me let me eat a pie. Like a whole pie. It's going to take him with me. Mmm, lots of pie. <laughs> oh, that's the fun thing about starting in... Ooh, ooh, and they've got a lot of candies and stuff. Starting the game in right next to the... Uh, right next to the apocalypse. All of this stuff is fresh. And so you go in and you find just pie. Rather than rotten pie which is entirely useless. Although I think you can put rotten pie. Oh, oh, lost my, uh, lost my wrench there. This is why it's important to get spares. Another house key. <laughs> wrench, you, here, keep the wrench you broke. And some forks. I'm gonna keep the bread knife. There. There's my wrench. Oh, actually, no, you know what? Let's get rid of the wrench. No, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the wrench. 
Just because I almost have a full level in... Equip with both hands. A uh, full level in short, short blunt. It's baseball time. Let's see, uh, let's grab some alcohol wipes. If I do get a scratch on me or something, it's good to get some of that going on. We'll take some soda. Quagga cakes. Red licorice, gummy worms. I, th I think I like gummy bears better, personally. Because gummy bears, they've just got a good mouthfeel, in my opinion. They've got that kind of... Hold on. Snow globes. Nom, nom, nom. They've got that kind of like, oh yeah, I'm chewing on stuff, but it's not a big problem. Oh, I had it on the wrong setting the entire time. Sorry about that. Y'all didn't know there was a giveaway. Ooh. Bottle of disinfectant, beta blockers, more bandages. Those are good. And actually, well, I've got it here. Let's disinfect, dis disinfect the bandages. That'll load them up with... Uh, Sterilized liquid for a while, at least. Do, 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 do. Plastic bag. Oh, hey, thanks for the subscription, Soke90. Welcome to the backlog. Empty bucket. Ooh, another bandage. Yeah, okay. We'll just get a whole bunch of sterilized bandages for later. Not that I need them, no. Not that I need them. I just want them. Okay. Um, then I guess let's go eat some more pie. And then we'll take another nap. I wake up in the morning, fresh, and ready. Turn off the alarm. I could actually turn, up, uh, turn on the alarm so it wakes me up. At the appropriate time. Too full to eat. Okay. But I am carrying too much stuff. Bother. Well, when I wake up, I'll eat some stuff. Is there a... There is not a place in here to sleep. Looking for a chair. Okay. We'll just sleep out in the open. I'm sure it'll be fine. I won't wake up to anything inappropriate. Mm, yeah, heavy load. That's not good. We want that to be not so not so horrible. We're gonna have to get rid of the wrench. Oh hey, thanks, Joss Abayato. Welcome to the log pile. Okay, what else in here? Do I have two hammers? One hammer? No, just one hammer. Okay. I mean, I am carrying a big gun on my back. I could probably get rid of the bread knife. I have, like, no levels in short sharp. And the beret. Fine. Okay. Then as long as we keep eating, <laughs> we should be good. So let's take some pie. Okay, so this entire place didn't have a single backpack. Nor did any of the zombies in here. All we got is a satchel, which is better than nothing. Yes, definitely better than nothing. But still. Gotta close the door, you know. Mm. 
There we go. Got him. Leather jacket. Nope. Okay. Nothing great. There we go. And we're off. Off to explore again. All right. Looks like we got a warehouse. Warehouses can be awesome. Okay, good. Let's actually close this. There. A garden saw. I should do it. I should do a thing about saws here. This is 0. 0.7. This is 0. 0.7. Yeah, I wonder if there's a difference between what the two saws can do. I will have to look that up. Because I know there's differences between the, the hammers. Ooh, a shovel. Metal pipe, safety goggles, plaster powder. Looking for an axe. Would definitely prefer a hand axe. <sighs> Wood axe. Grab. Okay, baseball bat. Equipped with both hands. There we go. Okay, we've pretty much won the game now. We've got a assault rifle. Oh, oh, ball peen handler. Yep. Oh, crowbar's really good. Crowbar's really good. Not as good as a, not as good as an axe though. Now we just need a proper backpack. Just a proper backpack, and we're just ready to. St oh, a trolley. <gasps> oh, good. Oh, nice. Okay, so this this is actually a mod um, that includes trolleys. And there's trolleys and shopping carts, and there's a different kind of trolley. And, uh, and they can hold, what, 50, 50 goods, and you can run with them. And they, they have 100%, 100 uh, weight negation. So you can just put 50 on there, and it doesn't weigh anything more to you. Super good. Ooh, a propane torch. I'm gonna grab that. We'll throw it in the back of the uh, throw it in the back of the truck. Lots of paint. Dust mask. Okay, well. Ooh, a machete. Throw that in the back of the uh back of the truck as well oh hi you have been standing there so politely so neatly i didn't even notice you were there sir or ma'am one hit done <gasps> there's a thing in here equip secondary and then let's a, a map of of greenleaf okay good good that's probably a map that most of you haven't seen Oh, yeah, there's somebody right there. Let's drop the map of green leaf. Drop the green satchel. Oh, oh, yeah, and then get our get our axe ready. That would be unfortunate. Oh, it's locked. Hey, hey guys. Bit of a slow wind up. That's why I prefer the hand axe. Oh, but I got both of them. And you're done. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just see boots? <gasps> Give me the boots. Yay. They do make you louder. But they make your... Um... Oh, I'm really heavily loaded. Oh, drop that. Okay, fine. Here. Propane torch in the back. What else don't we need in here? Let's eat some chocolate. Uh, let's... Uh, kitchen knife in the back. Machete... Painkillers. 
extra water bottle pop there we go yeah this axe is gonna get me in trouble Start the car up. And get out. All right, so it looks like we got to go down this road and then off once we hit the main street. Ooh. Department store we could quick loot. Oh, I've been making a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, it's a good, it's a good weapon. All right, remove the broken glass, and then we'll hop through. Come on, Stanley, Stanley, you gotta find a backpack. Quit not finding a backpack and find a backpack. Not, not a plastic bag, a backpack. Nails, shovel, shovels are good. Good starting two-handed weapon. Now we got more Zeds. Oh no, I can't get out this way. Ooh. Oh, no. That's not going to work. Can I target him? I can. <laughs> Long range on this one. Let's go. Get him. Yeah, that's the other nice thing about the hand axe. It doesn't use as much effort. As you can see, I'm already tired. I'm exhausted. So let's grab that and we'll put uh, we'll put the wood axe in the trunk. Wood axe is really good though if uh, if you're planning on long-term survival because you can actually chop down trees and turn it into wood. And that's just really awesome. So good. Uh, let's eat a blueberry pie while we're traveling. Oh, speed bumps. <gasps> Burgers, Bluegrass State High School. We can probably get uh, a backpack around here somewhere. Not seeing any zombie kids with backpacks, though. Don't want to bust in there. Because they might have all... They might have planned it so they put them all in there. That would, that would be horrible. There's a whole bunch of Zeds just packed in there. And you open the door and, oh, hi. Now, at some point, if I level up my mechanics, I can actually loot the windows off of one of these cars and plop it back in there. See, see, this is all mod. This is all the mod map. This is not in the vanilla game. None of this. It's huge. Tim's Bakery... Ooh, a police car. Now, if I looted the police car, there's probably more bullets in there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Get him. Get them. Go. Woo, well, it was going well. Now, not so much. 
Shoot! Look at them all. Oh yeah, that's quite a few. That's quite a few. All right, let's... It's locked. Boo! Fine. Looks like we got a battle on our hands. Let's go. One. Two. Oh, wait. I'm tired. Or I'm getting there. Let's eat some fruit. Gotta keep our sugars up, you understand. Pop a hard candy while we're going. <laughs> strong panic. Very strong panic. Nothing in that one. I could probably lose this horde of zombies if I wanted to. Screwdriver, empty gas can. Oh, actually. Let's come out this way. Because I think we're close to one of the entry or exit points to the map here. And I don't know if it's actually going to let us get up there. Unless we're on foot. So let's go see if we can get to the north side of this map. Oh, we're getting, we are getting tired. I'm going to have to stop running. <gasps> oh, this guy over here. He's got some gear I want. <gasps> He's got a, back, a hiking backpack, sir. Excuse me, sir. I have wonderful news. You've been selected. Handpicked by our team of analysts. And he's got a shovel on his back. Oh no. All right. All right. Here we go. I have no aiming skill. But I think it's time. Oh, no. It is not time. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Running. Oh, this person's got a gun, too. See, lots of really good loot here. I don't know if I'm in actually hitting anything. Fire mode single. Okay, yeah, no, I got I got plenty of rounds. Reload. I'm just I'm moving very slowly at this point because I'm tired. Yeah, no, this is not a good idea. Arlene, we're in the same boat, buddy. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to try and run back to my truck. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. Whose idea was this? <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, do you have a, do you have a nightstick? Night sticks are really great. And I've already almost got a level in short blunt. Maintenance? Oh, because I've been pushing on stuff a lot. Yeah. You, sir. Nope. Whoa, don't like that. Nope, that's a lot. That's too much. Hop back in the truck. We've got to scoot. Oh, uh, this is Project Zomboid. Uh, it is the most in-depth zombie survival game that I've found. And I've been looking for a while. I wanted to loot this police car. But it's not looking like we're going to do it. I could run over all of these zombies and kill them that way. But 
then I would damage my truck. And I kind of need the truck to get out. And survive and not die. And uh, it's... The, the game is detailed enough that if I were to hop into the back seat of that cop car, I wouldn't be able to get to the front seat because that's not how police cars work. <gasps> you, sir. You've got my backpack. Got to hit him with the wheels. If you want him to stay down. Or you can actually just sit on top of them and they'll stay down. Oh boy, give me that hiking back. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll just throw the satchel in the backpack for right now. Okay, we've got a backpack. Okay, and we've got the horde back. Drat. Well, this is semi-normal gameplay. I'm actually uh, exploring this map. Uh, this is entirely fan-based, fan-made map pack here. So none of this is in the vanilla game. So, sort of a challenge in that I'm, I'm unfamiliar with the terrain. So I don't know if I go down this alley if there's any way out of the alley. Or, uh, you know, where to find the loot. So I've just now found a backpack. And it has a satchel in it, because I put it there. So no, eventually, eventually uh, I'm planning on hosting a, uh, a tournament for the game. Which I don't think anyone else has done. Not that I've heard. So I, I'm, thinking, I, I'm thinking this would probably make a really good tournament map. Just... See how uh, how many kills you can get without dying. Because you can actually play this on multiplayer. This this currently isn't on multiplayer. Um, my my server didn't want to start earlier today, so I'm not playing it on multiplayer right now. But I usually play this on multiplayer. It's more fun that way when you can just get some random guy in there. Or get your buddies in and go uh, go hunting together as a group. Okay, let's actually go in this way. No, let's go in this way. There we go. Because I'm trying to get to the north side of the mod of the map here. Just to get just to get the whole size of the map firmly planted in my mind. House key. Oh yay. Nope, nope. Close it. Close it for short. Oh, hey, another police officer. They are the easiest way to get to get good guns, and uh, he's wearing a bulletproof vest. That'll come in handy. Oh, but I'm tired. I keep forgetting I'm tired. Come here. I'm probably going to die here. Because all my moodles up in the top left there keep flashing at me. I'm tired. I'm panicked. I'm exerted. I'm closing the door in front of me rather than the other way around. Ah! Okay, now we've got access to my food stores. Let's eat some gummy bears. Whew. Yeah, uh, Com Coma Trashy, uh, it's, it's mostly vanilla, but I've got about 25 mods going on. Uh, and this, this is 
Raven Creek. Oh, it's a mod map. And yeah, I'm, I'm about to die. Yeah. No, if I can, if I can lead these guys away far enough, I can get back to my truck and I'll probably survive. As long as I can run. Oh, well. Uh, as long as I can amble. Here we go. Hop in. Start the engine. Back. Start the engine. Start the engine. Yeah, okay. No, this is where I die. Why is my car not starting? There we go. Scary. Woo! Woo, okay. Almost died. Didn't quite die. Very panic. Very panic. Oh, actually, yeah, let's go that way. Excuse me, sorry, going this way. Nope, okay, that's not actually... Oh, no! Hey, thanks for stopping by, Comatrashy. I will ensure that I have a great stream. You have a wonderful day. Ooh, there we go. Dark Souls on Switch? I mean, it wouldn't be that hard, I don't think. Of course, I I usually play uh, I usually play a Souls like with uh, with controller myself. So, you know, for me that's just part and parcel of the whole uh, the whole genre. So it would be about normal difficulty, I would say. And uh, I believe the original Dark Souls. Uh, what 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 was that? What was that sound, game? Why are you making that sound? I think the dark, the original Dark Souls uh, renders in about the right uh, frame rate and uh, and size to make that a feasibility. Oh, boo! Who parked that in the middle of the street? Uh, this isn't where it came from, is it? Where's my mall? Oh, there it is. I see it on the map. Right down here. Yeah, let's head back to the mall. It's getting late. I need to rest. Grab some more food. Get to a place that doesn't have so many zombies before we go out to another place that has lots of zombies. Oh, lots of those windows are cracked now. Who oh, no. knew? I'm gonna have to clear the place out again. Hello. No, that's that's the way it usually is in the game. Have a great time, enjoy yourself, and then and in, instead of dying in some normal way, you end up dying in some ridiculously stupid way. Come on, you. Be done. There we go. Oh, we got more. Yes, if you've watched zombie movies, you know that you don't go to the mall. That's a bad idea. But in this game, it's fine. It's normal. <gasps> Red velvet cake. Yes, please. Need some jelly beans. Oh, yeah, actually, I've got to get all of this out of my satchel and put it into my hiking backpack, actually. Let's keep them out of there, just for sanitation reasons. I want to get nasty blood all over the sandwiches.
Yeah, I remember I was playing a game on a map, uh, the Erie County map, which which is one of my favorite. They, they're doing such a great job on that map. Um, and I was playing a character, and he was doing really well. And so I was like, hey, I'm going to go, and I'm going to liberate Moldraw. No, I'm going to go liberate um, a gas station, because there was a gas station. I needed to get some gas. And I was like, hey, that'll be great. Every, every time the zombies yell. What what are you talking about there, IDK? Uh, but yeah, anyway, I was I was going along and having a great run with the guy and uh, decided, hey, I'm going to go liberate this gas station. And I was like, hey, I'm going to use Molotov cocktails. And so I had to draw everybody away and then throw the Molotov cocktails at him. And then, uh, and then have them... Um, you know, keep, keep them away until they all died. And it took too long. And I got stuck out. And uh, I tried climbing over these big, tall fences. And that uses up a lot of your endurance when you tried to do that. And, uh, and very unfortunately, I got stuck walking away from a horde. A burning horde of zombies. And, uh... <laughs> And so as I'm slowly walking away, I'm, I'm like, okay, if I can just get to my car, if I can just get to my car, and I'm streaming this whole thing. I'm like, if I can just get to my car, it'll be great. We'll survive. We'll hop in the car. Well, I get to the car, and I hop in the wrong side. And that was the side that had the broken out window. No, no, I've been playing this game for a while now. Yeah, I've I've actually put up uh, I'll put up a whole bunch of guides uh, for different items and ideas and concepts of the game to help to help people who haven't played it before uh, because it does have a very tall learning curve. It helps if you're used to physics because they're trying as much as they can to uh, to pattern it after real life, but they do get some stuff wrong. Like, for instance, the club hammer should be a better weapon than it is. And it is not a better weapon than just the normal hammer. And there are no seat belts in this, so if I crash, I could do myself a grievous, grievous bodily harm. Though I could actually back up to any of these wrecks and tow them away. <laughs> Hitch them up, tow them away. Clear out the running room here. No, this is the this is the first time I've been on this map though. Really excited by what I'm seeing. This is gonna be a fun map to get a whole bunch of people in. And if you're interested in joining together on a multiplayer surfer, let me suggest the Backlog Tournament Surfer. You can find it in the uh, multiplayer, what, what is that, multiplayer selection, server select box. Just search for Backlog, one word. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're waiting for their bus. Now, let's get back down here. I, there was There was a couple of police officers... A couple of uh, police vehicles that I want to loot. Yeah, there's one. Now, I'm going to turn the car off. Hop out. Oh, and I'm, I'm thirsty. Now, I can't use my machete on this guy because it's just going to ruin any of his clothes. But now that I'm standing on top of him... Oop, she almost got a piece of me. Yeah, there we go. Quick, do a, a survey. And the shotgun. All right. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna hop that right back there. Oh, am I still holding this? I am. Satchel, get out of here.
Get them. Oh, we've got a bunch. Oh, yeah, these are all from the... From the bus stop. Oh, this is going to be such a good tournament map. The zombies just keep coming. Even if I turn respawns off. I wonder if we could clear the whole map in a week with 30 people playing on the same server. Just clear out this whole area. Rosewood map. That's close to here. That's another mod mod map we've got installed okay i think we're cleared out here um i need to eat some food and drink some water empty bottle empty bottle well let's uh let's drink an orange soda then <laughs> yeah they were just following after the bus going hey 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 don't leave me I need, some, I need to go to the store and get some brains. Mmm, tasty brains. Actually, I need to go to the trunk and grab my... Oh, there's my water bottle. Where's my gas can game? Where did you put my gas? Oh, it's in the, it's in the driver's side. There it is. Equip secondary. No, I, no, I didn't want to start the car. Okay, there we go. Now, with the gas can in my hand, I can come up to a car, hold down V, and actually get the siphon gas prompt. Okay, good. Or put gas in. Or, uh, yeah, I could attach the uh, these two cars together. But this one would not pull this one very well. Okay, not a full gas can. <laughs> we, got, we got a whole... Uh, a whole troop. Uniformed... Uniformed individuals. It's a band. They probably play ska. Yep. Oh, no, it's a baseball team. Ooh, annotated map. These are cool. These are cool. Because they're like a regular map, but they've got stuff. Store, still full. Plan B. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, so they've got stuff on them and when they're spawned into the world they actually spawn in the uh, the thing on the map so now i've got the map of moldraw and i if i look on that map i can find the specific house go to the house and find some stuff that i wouldn't normally be able to find really cool nice little feature uh i, I hope they add more because they're they're constantly updating this game all the time all right, let's add the gas. Got to keep my trunk full. And now it's an empty gas can. Okay, so I did I did put the entire the entire gas can in there. I you know what? I should look at this. I should look at this vehicle and make sure it's doing okay. Because it's running a bit rough. Oh, I got somebody's attention. Right front window is the only thing. Uh... No, it's it's doing pretty it's doing pretty well. Ooh, uh, one of these suburbans, real good. Come on. Be done. Can I... 
Nope, nothing in here. Looking for more gas. There we go. This one's got gas. Uh, okay, this one doesn't have gas. But can I get into the car? Nope. For whatever reason, the V key is get rid of all of your HUD. Oh, there. Oh, let's open the trunk. Sometimes you'll actually find the ha-ha-ha. <laughs> you'll actually find... the key to the car in the thing. But I picked a uh, a burglar as my occupation of, of uh, preference, which means it doesn't actually matter. Okay, we got a bunch of people down here. And one over here. Let's deal with this straggler first. What's my plan? Well, my plan is to explore the map. Because we're, we're way down here. And this, uh, this, like, this, pretty much this whole square corner usually has just trees and a tiny little road leading to it. Uh, but we're exploring this mod here. Bart. Bart Vandenberg. And, uh, and hoping we find a map, actually. Ooh, a map would be amazing. Pony, o Pony Romo. Rosewood, Valley Station, R March Ridge. Hmm, no. Rabbit Hash, Rosewood, Blackwood, no. Oh, water bottle, though. Journal of Virology. That's a good one. We'll put this away. Read map. Read map. Read map. And read map. Okay, now since these aren't annotated, it doesn't actually need, don't actually need to carry them with you. But it is, it is a very large map. Yes, quite large. And I've just put some, some new stuff on it. Look at that thing. That one's that one's huge. Oh yeah, I should fill up my water. Eventually, if you're playing the game, eventually, um, at some point, the water will turn off and the electricity will turn off. And then things get really dark in the middle of the night. But you can get flashlights, you can scavenge batteries. You can you can actually uh, get generators and power them. You can, you can set up the map so eventually all of the gas stations run out of gasoline, <laughs> if you want to. Um, so that eventually, eventually there's just no more electricity. No, nothing you can do can get you more electricity because you're just out. Okay, and we've, uh, we've aggroed the whole... Um, no, they, they have a, they, they, they kind of have side quests. Um, but it's, it's not... It's not a, you, you go find a person and they give you a quest and now you've got a marker on your map. Uh, it's very much more of an actual real life kind of a, a side quest. You'll find annotated maps running around and they'll have notes on there. And once, once they've spawned in the annotated map, they will actually spawn in the, um, the, the thing you find at the end of the map quest. If you want to call it a quest. Um, hold on. Let me go loot this uh, bulletproof vest. Yes. Oh, and a nightstick. We're going to put this one left belt. Nightsticks are real good. Um, and so, and so you'll find an annotated map and it'll lead you to a place. And there you'll find, you know, a whole, a whole slew of guns. But in order to get to that place, maybe you'll have to go and, and find a car. And once you found a car that you can drive, maybe then you'll need to get some gas for it because it's out of gas. Or maybe you'll you'll need to put a new tire on it or or who knows what. Um, and so it's it's very much just the survival. And so people have made their own their own kind of side quests. Uh, and eventually once you've played it long enough, you get good enough at it that I can add gasoline. No, you get good enough at it that 
the uh you know the day-to-day -day killing of zombies isn't really the important part of the game it's hey how do i get to a point where i'm pretty much self-sufficient how do, how do i find a place where i can uh, i see you there uh where, where i can um i have all the stuff that i need i've got food i've got water you know freedom freedom from zombies why, why are we doing the orchestral hit? I knew he was there, game. Oh. Oh, this guy. Oh. This is a mod. That was Ethan. And he just biffed it. Let me eat a cake slice and avenge his death. And so, you know, you can have some you can have some fun with it. Um, like this character, if he were to die, he would still be in the world. And if he dies because of infection, then he'll eventually respawn as a zombie. And I can I can get a new character to come in into the same map, into the same world, and find his body. And so I've I've done that in some in some of my uh, streamed playthroughs where I've just been like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off zombie respawns, and I'm gonna clear out as much of the map as I can with each character. And we did, you know, do a whole bunch of role play. Okay, this is, this is so and so, and he comes from this area, and this is what he's good at, and this is this is kind of his, uh, his ideals in life. Duffel bag. <laughs> he's got some cooking. Ooh, and some strawberries. Very nice. Yeah, the, there aren't normally others, um, survivors, but this game has a very very strong modding community. Uh, and so there, there was a zombie survivor over here, but, uh, he just died. I didn't get to him in time. And so they'll, they'll actually survive in the world. Just, just fine. Wait a minute. Oh, these guys over here. Hmm. Usually when there's a orchestral hit like that, it's because something's gone wrong. Cop car. Ooh, nine millimeter. Mine. Let's try and uh, hotwire this car. Usually you can't hotwire a vehicle unless you've gotten, was it mechanics one and electricity two? But I started as a burglar. Well, in this game, you can have a whole fleet of vehicles. I've had uh, I've had one run through where I just I just kept finding cars, and it was it was good. There was a multiplayer server because I'd be out running around, and I'd hotwire a car, or I'd find the keys to a car, and then I'd give the car to somebody else, and we'd take it back to our home base. Uh oh, I have to get to the other seat. Because it's a cop car, you can't actually go from the front to the back. Which I think is a cool little touch. But it did almost kill me one time. Because I wanted to get... See, I can't... I have to exit the vehicle. <laughs> nope, no gas. But I've got a gas can, so I could... Could fill this bad boy up. Holster? Yes, please. And some more 9 mil. Now I just need to find the... And where's that police officer? He probably has a 9 mil on him. Oh, come on. Come on. Work with me. Hot wired a car. Nope, that one didn't work. Try again. <laughs> so yeah, I could fill this one up with gas and drive it over to my, uh, my safety area. And and depending on the depending on the type of fences, this one is tall enough zombies can't climb over it. But these ones are short enough that zombies can. They'll just like flop over it. So if you find a place that has enough of these fences, you can build barricades that zombies won't be able to get into. But then you can go open a door, drive your car in. There we go. Nope. No fuel. Oh, you know, I didn't even check the uh the glove box. 
Oh, there's a car battery in there. There might have been a key to the vehicle, and it might not have needed to hotwire it. Oh, and this one is locked completely. So I've got to... Nope, 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 not the vehicle mechanics. Smash a window. Now we can get in. Oh, there's a bandage for me. That's about it. Open the trunk, see what's in there. Oh, well, I don't have a base yet. I don't have a base. Like I said, I just I just picked this up. Not the game, just the map. So this is this is all fresh. Ooh! I leveled up my long blade. Yay. Now I am deadly with it, but unfortunately as a long blade. Oh, it's actually got pretty good condition left on it. Long blades you can't very quickly or ease guns. Oh yes. I found my base. So yeah, you want to see my base? Here's my base. I just have to figure out how to get into it now. Oh, because it's got these. I can't just crack the windows open. Excuse me? I've just leveled up long blade. You really want to come at me? Yeah, I had I had one one game that I streamed for a long time uh, in Erie County where I just took the entire Erie County, turned off respawning, and uh, just tried my best to build safe houses in each starting location and uh, and have safe routes. I got about five of the gas stations up and running with generators so I could go get gas whenever I wanted to, and there was extra cars sitting around. So, whoa! Hello, welcome to the log pile. Thanks for subscribing. I'm gonna be right with you. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that was, that was foolish. Okay. Where's my other nightstick? Nightstick, yeah, there we go. I haven't leveled up short blunt, so this will be a good opportunity. Foolish to just bust in there. <laughs> I will smack you through the fence. Oh, maintenance is up. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, running. All right, we got to funnel them through here. Okay, everything else good. Nice clear area. Lots of zombies. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go around to the side. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting drowsy. Boo. Well, let's eat some cake. Ooh, another entrance point. Maybe Harry, Harry. Harry! Oh, he's barricading up the doors. Nice. Cigarettes, earbuds. Yeah, so there's a whole, um, there's a whole trait system going on. So you can choose to, uh, to start out as an, uh, a smoker. And, uh, that's, that's a really interesting choice because it gives you trait points you can spend on positive traits. But then you've got to you've got to smoke, and you've got to keep smoking. Otherwise, you get nervous, you get antsy. And so, if you run out of cigarettes, that's that's a problem. It's not usually that hard to find enough to, to keep a smoker going. And eventually, eventually, if you don't smoke, you will lose the uh, the smoker trait.
Come on, you. Uh, well, that depends on your multiplayer settings. Um, you can you can set it up so it's uh completely PvP, or com or not completely a uh, completely PVE, or you can have PvP on, or you can have it uh, toggleable by individual people. So you can be like, hey, you know what? I'm not I'm not PvPable right now. And you you can uh you can adjust the server so it says yeah okay you can say I'm not PvPable but it'll take two minutes before it takes effect so if you're running from somebody you've got to run for two minutes oh <gasps> this guy's got an axe somebody tried killing this guy <laughs> all right I've got a hand axe everybody game is mine. Unfortunately, the hand axe does rip apart the clothing of the character that you're attacking. But boy, oh boy, does it do a good job. Elsewise, let's eat some more cake. So yeah, you can you can set it to allow people to PvP if they want to. Um, lots there. I mean, setting up a multiplayer server is. I don't want to say it's complicated. It's just complex. There's a lot of options that you can tweak. You can say, okay, hey, what kind of zombies do we want in the server? Do we want I am legend kind of zombies? That only come out at night. And during the daytime, they just kind of stand there. You, If, if that's the kind of zombie you want, you can go for that. You can have runners. Or you can have a, a mixed bag where some are runners and some are just, they just crawl. You can be infected by, um, by just biting. Uh, let's, okay, we got to remove the broken glass. Or you can get a scratch and it'll get infected. Or, or both. Or you can choose. However you want. It's up to you. Oh no! Disassemble door. Boo! That's not going to disassemble the grate. It's just going to disassemble the door. <laughs> yeah, that's actually another one of the uh, another one of the settings you can adjust. Uh, whether you take damage by being hit by a car, so you can you can totally negate trolling if you want to. Yeah. Okay. So. It didn't give me access into there. Hello, Samuel H. Welcome to the log pile. Glad to have you here. Oh, there's a guy in there. I wonder if I can get him to break the door down. Oh, they're working on it. They are working on it. Okay, so this one, I want it on belt right. And then actually, I'm just going to sleep right here. Normally, that would be dangerous. But in this instance... Oh, I can't get back to sleep. I'll have to try later. In this instance, getting the rest is well worth it. Oh, I should get through there. Out of there, buddy. Yeah, so um, I've mentioned it in this stream, but I'm I'm planning on starting a uh, a tournament re uh, pretty soon on the multiplayer server, and uh, and so th this this map I think is going to be secondary. Hold on, let me grab this real quick. Uh, this this map I think is where everybody's going to spawn. So they'll spawn in here. There's lots of zombies to fight over, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off PvP. So there's none of that. And then leave the server running for like a week. And see who can get the most kills without their character dying. Because when you die, it deletes all of your kill stats. Nope! Get off me. 
Oh, that was close. There we go. All right, what do you got in here? Uh, I need, oh, I need a key. I can actually disinfect all the bandages. Good, good. If I kill a zombie in this building... Oh, no, the problem isn't that I can't get through the doors. I can open the doors. The problem is I've got those grates. Boo. And for that, I need a sledgehammer. Or I could craft a Molotov cocktail and have it burn down. But then I would need to put the fire out. Oh, no. My hand axe just broke. And I don't have... I don't have the stuff to repair it. Oh, no. Gotta find wood glue now. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any wood glue in the... In the kitchen here? I'm gonna eat some crackers. Some sardines. Drink some pop. How's my nightstick doing? It's about halfway. Good thing I've got the machete. And a hammer if I really need to. All right, fill the water bottle because it's getting a bit low. Oh, fresh peach. And you can see these are cold because they're in the refrigerator. Um, and the uh, the electricity is still running. I told it, I told it sometime in the first two weeks, randomly shut off the electricity. And that's in-game weeks. So, <laughs> at any point, it could just shut off. And then we would not have all of this food sitting around. So that'll be fun. The uh, On the tournament, they'll probably have the, uh, the first couple of days, they'll have plenty of food. And then they will run out, and they'll have to stay, start fighting each other. But they won't be able to fight each other. <laughs> I'm evil. I love it. All right, I'm going to sleep. Because it's time to sleep, and I'm tired. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Zombie Inception. Zomception. I still haven't found... Ooh, a cooked fish fillet. Not fresh, but still edible. Bacon. Can opener. Oh, some bread. Mm, not fresh, though. So it gives me some bored. It's stale. It gives me a little bit of boredom when I eat it. Mm, notebook, notebook. Come on. <clears throat> The farming magazine. Yeah, so I've seen I've seen people that have that have done uh Oh, steak cooked. Uh oh. Anxious. Why am I anxious? This wasn't a bite. No, I'm fine. Why am I anxious, game? Shame. Oh, it's because I slept and I I was hearing zombie. Smacking onto things. Yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have slept then. Oh, I could slice the bread up. Work on my cooking skill. Get out of here. Gone. Done. Finished. No. No no house key. Nope. And, oh, there's a hoodie. 
might be good. Yeah, so let's see here. I've got carpentry level one, maintenance, and long blade level one. Working on short blade, or short blunt here. Almost got that one leveled up. Going around the corners way too quickly again. That's just me. My bad. Okay, good. We got rid of anxious. I am heavily loaded, though. I'm going to eat some bread. Because now that I'm well fed... Man, I'm just racking up the kill count. Get off of me. I'm going to close this door. There we go. Oh, yeah. And I got to keep remembering to check the corpses to see if anybody has a house key. Because if I have a house key, then I can open any of, the, any of the doors in the houses. <laughs> oh, now I'm feeling a little sad. I got to get some beta blockers. Or, or, maybe eat some chips. Or some cake. I think I still have some cake. Could probably eat some cake. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, okay. And so there's uh, empty jars. So if I find some fresh food, I can actually can some food, and it'll stay good for later. Canned beef, that's real good. Canned beef. Oh, oh, I'm full up there. <gasps> Ice cream. That'll make me less sad. Just eat a whole tub of ice cream. If that doesn't make you less sad, then you can eat a whole pineapple. <laughs> Just a whole fresh pineapple. Okay. Nothing much here. Oh, I can I can dye my hair. Nice. Excuse me. Do you happen to know where the proprietor is? I would like to uh, rent out the uh, location downstairs. If if you see him, let him know I'm interested. Thank you. Soap, perfume. Hmm, nope. Not finding anything really good. Still looking for a map of the area. Hmm, no. If you, if you actually eat uncooked meat, there's a chance that you'll get, um, I'm still sad. Well, when I eat that whole pineapple, I will stop feeling sad. Uh, there's a there's a chance you could get um, a, a stomach ache and actually die from eating a hamburger that's been left out in the sun. So, like, for instance, this... Uh, wait, where did it go? This chicken rotten, I could eat that, but I would probably die. I'm wet. I'm sad. But I am stuffed. All right, we'll fill the water bottle. Stick the pineapple in here. Really sad that I broke my broke my stupid axe. Didn't even get to use it much. Only killed some zombies with it. All right, is there anything up here? Because sometimes these mod makers will put in some really fun little things like a like a, a, a back staircase that leads down into the gun shop. That would be awesome. But no, this thing just goes all the way up. <gasps> nice. Do you have another axe for me? Metal pipe. 
mallet, hard hat, some goggles, some rope, and a battery. Nah, not really. Oh, oh, there's something over here. Something over here. Hmm, no. Or, uh, or a generator up on the top here would be great. Because you could set the generator up here. It wouldn't attract zombies because it'd be far enough away from them. If you... <laughs> If you set it up inside a building, it actually makes the building a death trap. So that would be one way that you could kill people during the tournament. You could set up a generator in a building that they're in. And then it would just fill the whole building because the game doesn't really know. The game doesn't really know. Yeah, okay. That's too far away for that to make any sense. It's just going to fill up the entire building with toxic smoke and slowly asphyxiate people. So that'll be fun to watch happen. All right, let's eat that. Um... Oh, we should probably eat the pie before it goes bad. Hmm. I could help him break that down, and then we could get into the gun store. I don't think we can get into the gun store a different way. Sledgehammer looks to be the only way to get in there. Well, only feasible. Whoa, look at them all. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to go over this way, I think. Got a gas can. I could get this police car going. Yeah, you can barricade stuff, but then the people on the inside would be able to unbarricade fairly easily. Barricading is only particularly effective against uh, against the undead, which which is fine. I mean, you don't want to be barricading yourself out. You, I mean, you can barricade yourself out, but then you just any hammer, well, any claw hammer, will be able to unbarricade you just fine and the fun thing about these is i can honk the horn turn the heater on turn the light bar on make all kinds of noise turn on the siren have a great time all right let's get back we we got distracted once we saw the guns we got distracted we're exploring there's a fire department they've got axes i know they've got axes but no we're exploring we just got to exploring let's keep going Okay, big apartment block. A food market, very nice. Hmm. Yeah, we'll kite him up over here. And then we can just escape out the bottom. Yes, yes. Ooh, I should probably steal her pants. Fireman's pants have some of the best protective ability. In the game. But I'll, I'll leave it be. They're probably not my size anyway. Because I picked obese, so... I'm a chunky boy. Fortunately, the game does not account for that. That would be sad. You kill somebody and they're just wearing the wrong pair of pants. And if, you, if you're not wearing a belt, you can't wear them because they keep falling down. They keep tripping you. Or you just can't get them on there. Either way, that would be sad. I'm glad they didn't do that. <laughs> 
Yeah, almost ran into the light pole there. Robin! Hey! Hey! Yes, there are guns in game, but they're, um, they're somewhat rare. That's why that gun store is pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's, he's shooting. He's shooting. Yep, Robin's, Robin's got a gun. Robin's got a gun. Hey, buddy, you want to come with me? Oh, we've made it. Okay, so this is uh, this is the checkpoint. Robin, invite to group. You want to join my group? Understood. Robin, are you in my group now? He's following me. We've got a buddy. All right, so this this map includes a fence all the way around. Oh, no, I have scratched myself. Oh, yeah, sterilized bandage. Good, good. Oh, oh, it's on my shin, so I can't walk while I'm putting the bandage on. Yeah, and, and I actually have a gun, too. But the problem with guns is you start lighting them off. I've got two guns. I've got a shotgun. And uh, uh, AR, was it 14 in this game? I call it an AR-14. Holds, holds 30 rounds. Single fire. Pretty good. Pretty good. The problem is, most of the time you'll start the game and you'll have no... No ability to aim very well. Oh no, the fog's, fog's rolling in. Oh, he's got lots of ability to aim, though. Here, you do that. I'm going to see... Oh, a double holster. Let's wear that one. Those are relatively... Map of Louisville. Single holster. Nightstick. You're coming with me. And a 306. We'll attach this to the holster right. And we'll attach this to belt left. Good, good, good. Okay. Got some good, good loot. Um, Let's see, zombie police over there. With it. There might be, there might be some ammo in here. And that's, that's the other thing, because you'll run out of ammo too. So while you're learning to shoot well, you are just garbage and you're missing and you've got to stand very still. Buddy, buddy. Buddy, no, buddy, N buddy. He's trying to follow me and he can't. Oh no, my nightstick broke at the worst possible time. Buddy, did you get bit? Hello, Hemtem Karyot. I I have probably butchered that name horribly, but welcome. Oh, Robin. Robin. He's not feeling great. Robin, Robin, c c come, over, come over this way, buddy. Don't just stand there. I'm just going to smash the window. And then remove the glass. Oh, hi, Robin. Do you know how to get into the building, Robin? <laughs> He's going to go to the door. <laughs> Oh, I can't even open it for you, buddy. I don't have the key. Well, I'll not be long then, I guess. Here, fill the water bottle. Well, as long as he's alone, that's going to be a problem. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I would love to get the get in get you in here, buddy. There's lots of Lots of good loot in here because these these uh, spawn in guns and ammo left, right, and center. I'm gonna have to go out this door, the window. Oh, there's another one. Where's the police? Where's the police? I'll tell you where the police is. Gone. 
We just had to dispatch a couple of them, Robin. Don't you remember? Oh no, I do I do not actually want to climb over the fence. <laughs> oh, Captain Carrot. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. How much ammo do you have there, Robin? Opens box of 38 special. Okay, so he is going to run out at some point. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is the entry point and exit point to the map. Um, in order to get out into the rest of the map from this square, you've got to leave through here. And so when I set up, when I set up the, uh, the tournament, either people will know and they'll, they'll come out here or they'll just say, you know what, this is a really good spot to get a lot of kills and they'll stay in here. But either way, if they want to get out into the rest of the world and be freed from all the other people. They're going to have to go through here. Do you have two 38s, Robin? What's going on? Hold on. Let me act like a, a lighthouse real quick. <laughs> yeah, his name's Robin. His name's Robin IDK. He doesn't prefer to be called a creature. Okay. One guy down here. I, I'm still under heavy load. Why am I so heavily laden? Oh, because that's broken. We can drop that. Ulster can go away. Empty gas can needs to be... Oh, empty gas can can't get stuck in there. Um, I could carry to my secondary, though. That'll make it lighter, effectively. And then, um... I guess we should eat some food. Yeah, I should probably eat a whole pineapple. That makes sense. I'll pull out my saw, cut it real nice. Eat a lemon meringue pie to go with the pineapple. Okay, good. All right, well, we've got a buddy. We found the exit. I don't think we need to keep going that way. Because we're trying to explore this area. So we should head back to my vehicle. And get out of Dodge. Oh, I'm still exhausted. Moderate exertion. Take a break. Yes, everyone, take a break. And don't forget to try out this video's sponsor. Water. That's right, H2O. It's not just for drinking anymore. Though, though it is definitely for that. Okay, so that's sad. If if we got a sledgehammer, there's some good loot in there. I just know it. Are you going to shoot this guy? He is going to shoot that guy. I like Robin. Robin's my friend. He is my favorite. What's in your duffel bag? <laughs> Sunflower seeds. <laughs> hey, hey, Robin, hop in my car. Let's go. Because I don't want to. I don't want to have you running behind. Yay! He actually gets in the car. Good. It's me and Robin. <gasps> that makes me Batman. <gasps> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. All right. We're going to go this way. We're going to find the Joker. Or something. Yeah. It'll be great. Oh, and it looks like we can't get through there. Is this a log? Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? Oh! Oh! I've got some sudden acceleration going on. Okay, there's an education center. 
Oh, that was really weird. I've never had a car suddenly zoom out of the way. It just wanted to go. All right, where? I need a cross street. Let's go. Let's head south. I don't trust that alleyway. I don't trust it farther than I can throw it. And I can't throw an alleyway very far at all. Mm, maybe, maybe you should think about just, just normal tap water. Maybe consider that rainwater might not be the healthiest. Depending on your area, it might actually be quite healthy. But there's a chance. There's a good chance. If you live near a big city, that rainwater is not good for you to drink. And, 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 and grain alcohol is certainly not good for you to drink. Okay. Okay. Just gonna throw that out there. Just gonna, just gonna chuck that bad boy right out there. Okay. Can I squeeze through there? I can. Good. There we go. Okay, we've made it to the main street. Oh, there's another police officer. I could seriously do with some food right about now. Do you need a pie? I have pie, Robin. I could give you some pie. We're going very far away from my previous truck. But we've got the police officer car. So, I mean, I think it's a decent trade. Ooh, and what's this? The Staraplex? There's probably going to be some food in here, buddy. He's just clearing him out. Nice. And he's even shooting them while he's reloading. Mmm, mmm. Oh no, IDK. No, no, don't drink the swamp water. That's real not good. Oh, and I am real tired. Robin, don't let him get you again. Well, I'm tired, but I'm not. Oh no, Robin! Well, if he dies, I get his gun. Come on. Of course, he has been firing a lot, so <laughs> we're probably drawing some zombies from a ways. Oh, we are drawing zombies from a ways. Robin! Robin! Robin. Sorry, buddy. No, no. Oh, no. Now he's a zombie. Okay. I'm gonna use my weapon here. This is not good for my suspension. But we are gonna have lots of zombies to loot. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, it might be actually fluorinated if you're in Florida. Hey! There we go. And all it cost us was our only friend. Fairly well. He had lots and lots of ammo. Oh, and an, a spare machete. I will take that and that. And I will wear your pants in 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 honor of you, buddy. And your your boots. No, not your boots. Your boots are garbage. I said it. Boots are garbage. No, 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 no. Get in here. 
Open the trunk. Let's put in. Let's actually put the shotgun in there. I mean, I'm just carrying that around without any actual ammo is not helpful. Actually, uh, let's put the nine mil in there because again, I don't have anything that'll shoot it. Other jacket, jeans. Let's attach that to the left holster. Good. And the machete can go in the trunk as well. Okay, good, good. We are loaded down for bear. <laughs> you are right, IDK. Though that's not how I killed him. I killed him the way you're supposed to kill him. With, uh... With cheese. All the cheese. I live in Wisconsin, so I like cheese. I threw a whole bunch of, uh, was it, uh, what, what's that, what's that spear, Ash of War? Sacred spear? Spectral spear? Something like that. Just killed him from downtown as he was chasing me. He had no chance. Ma'am, the theater is closed. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. In the vanilla map, you really don't see a whole lot of that sort of thing. No, I was I was going uh, as a uh, a faith build. Oh, wood glue! Yay! Wood glue. So Comet Azure was not going to work for me. I had plenty of other wonderful, powerful items that I could use. And my good friend Oleg. He and I, we took out pretty much everything together. Whoa! There, we'll deal with you one at a time. I am getting a bit tired, though. Oh, there's more of them. Nope, get off me. Nope, nope, I don't want any. Whatever you're selling, I don't like it. Okay. Well, that was exciting. I don't like that particular movie. Let's come over here and sleep. It's not a great bed, but it will be a good enough bed. Very good. Okay, good, good. Man, we are still overloaded. And I don't know why. I'm just carrying all the things I can find. Got red velvet cake. Sardines. Sterilized bandages. A whole ton of ammo. Good. Okay, we kind of filtered that out. Popcorn. <laughs> if there wasn't a whole lot of popcorn in here. Ooh. More wood glue. Wood glue is actually pretty rare. So I like to grab it whenever I can. It's very useful as well. Because it can repair stuff. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers are not not rare at all. Welder mask, though. Oh, but I've got I've got my my hat on here, my helmet. It's it's gonna be fine. Some pop. I should I should drink one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is kind of the way a lot of people play it.
why why pick a different spell if Comet Azure is just sitting there staring at you? Oh, hey, we just leveled up Short Blunt. Yay! Marvelous. Marvelous! Okay. So where are we? We are down here. Man, yeah, and there's a whole extra bit over this way. Sheesh. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of them coming this way. Oh, there's one here. Okay, I don't like this theater anymore. Nope, there's a pandemic going on. We shouldn't be in the theater. Mm -mm. What What are you doing over there? How did you get there? I'm leaving. Okay, good, good, good. We've made the thing. Drop it. There we go. And we're back up and running. Running very quickly. Okay, and we're out. We're out. We've lost our good friend. I feel like Oleg just died. <laughs> and we're driving on the sidewalk. <laughs> As was intended from the beginning. Well, okay, music. What? What's? What's your dealio? This is. This is not that exciting. Game. <gasps> oh, gas station though. If we can clear this area out. It'll be a miracle. But yeah, if we can clear out a gas station, get a, a generator running on it so that even when the uh, power turns off, we're good to go. Now, until you've leveled up a bit, a death line like that is just going to be death. But once you have leveled it up, Got some good weapons, a little bit of gear. A line like that might not actually be the death of you. And then when you get yourself a car, and you don't mind squishing some stuff. Unfortunately, unfortunately, car kills don't count towards your, uh, oh, towards your overall kill count. Because the game doesn't necessarily know who's in charge. I mean, it could just say, oh, it's the guy at the wheel. But all of these kills are not going on my kill count. <laughs> Squish. I could do that. I could do that. But then the problem is they're drawn to the siren. And the siren won't turn off until the car runs out of gas. So, so then I would effectively be trading my car for the fuel that I need for my car. So, what, what, game? What's with the hit? Why do the orchestral hit when no zombies are here? Wait, the gas can won't fit in here? Oh, the trunk is kind of beat up. I wonder who did that. I don't know. Um. Yeah, where's my wood glue? Oh, I need a better carpentry. Well, boo, that means that's pretty much dead. I usually play I usually play a character with a little bit of carpentry and I haven't done any Well, let's fill up the car. Maybe go into Oh, we can go into the gas and go. See if there's a map. Uh, I would love to get a full filled in map of this area. Uh 
I don't know if they can explode if you run into them. Um, I know they can catch fire. If uh, if you put a any any generator out and leave it running, it will eventually get a uh, a condition below. Well, I think it's 50 percent condition, and uh, then has the chance of exploding and causing a fire. Uh, but I don't know if the gas pumps themselves can. There's usually not a good enough run up to them to get up to full speed. See, I mean, you'd ha you'd have to set that in quite a ways. But yes, I've had one of my gas stations burn down, and then you can't get any gas from them, and that's very sad. I will take some food for the road. Magazine, crossword puzzles, maps. Here we go. Chinatown, Grapeseed, March Ridge, Ravens Creek. <laughs> there it is. There's one. Read it. Ah, this is the port district. Here, actually, let me just let me just read a bunch of these. Rabbit Hash, Rosewood North Expansion. There we go. And now we've got a whole bunch of these we can just drop. And now when we look at our map, we got... Ah, this whole section gets filled in. And so you can see we got a whole bunch whole bunch of little spots that we know where stuff is, but we haven't actually visited it. And look at this. Look at this. This is one of the maps. So that we know, okay, if we go over this way, there's a bridge to get us to this whole huge area. This is just a massive, massive mod. Sheesh. Oh, and if you're interested in playing with us, I've got the server loaded up. Uh, when you when you try to connect to it, it should tell you all the mods that are loaded on it and allow you to download them and run with it. Should work just fine. It's the Backlog Tournament Test Server. Help yourselves. And I hope to see you all playing with us at some point. I'm going to have to end the stream here. Thanks for watching. I'll play with you again next time. As we come back, here on the backlog.